Alright guys, so I'm back here explaining how to use the remote control function on the Sony RX100. You can also use any Sony camera that supports the Play Memories app and the camera control application within the camera. So the first thing you want to do is actually go into the camera itself, go to the menu, and you're going to select the application list. Now you would think it would be under the Wi-Fi, right? Considering it would be, you know, be logically placed, but nope, couldn't find it. You gotta arrow over one more on the Sony menu tab and then go to the application list. And from here, it'll give you some options. And you wanna use the smart remote embedded. And this is the default one. I'm gonna show you the upgraded downloaded one in a second here. So you go here, and it's gonna be looking for the camera or the connection, so you're going to go to your smartphone and go to your Wi-Fi settings. And I've already connected before, so it's right there. You can see Sony Direct Connect, it's already connected. Once you got that done, what you want to do is actually go to your the camera app itself, or the uh, Play Memories app, and launch the application here. So here we go. Okay, so now it's showing that I'm connected and I can do some basic controls so I can zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom back in. Trip the shutter. And I took the picture here. Now it doesn't let me tap focus. Oh, and I guess I copied it to my phone here, too. I had it set to... And then you can view the image here. It's kind of cool. All right. And then you can go to settings here. Give you some basic settings. There you go. Self-timer, review image. It's got some very rudimentary camera control type stuff there. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, there's no tap focusing, none of that fancy stuff. But on the newer app, it should give me that option. So I'll show you that in a second, just to compare to the old one. You can hide the menu options, show them again. And if you're in video mode on the camera itself, you can also, you know, this button turns into the video. I can't do high frame rate or any other any of that other fun stuff unfortunately. And uh, let me show you how to do the upgraded app. So here after the update you can actually see the smart mode control icon now instead of the older default one. So let's give this a try. So it should be connected. It's attempting to connect. Now I am connected. Now I'll launch the app here. So as you can see, everything's mirrored on the smartphone. And you can see the shutter and aperture it's got a lot more functionality. Let's see, can I touch focus? Nice, look at that. So let's say touch focus on the back, touch focus on the front, nice. Very cool, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me refocus here. So as you can see, it's allowing me to touch focus, which is pretty nice. The default camera app didn't even have this option. And it shows the shutter and aperture. You can take the picture. So it fetched it, I guess. It's got a little more options in the settings there. Yeah? 
But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a pain in the ass to kind of get back, get the app on here. So basically what you got to do is you have to go to the Sony Play Memories app website. Once there, you have to sign up for an account. Once you get that, you go and download the remote application, plug your camera into it, and for some reason, when I was using Firefox, the plugin kept crashing, so it was really a pain in the neck. So I went to Internet Explorer, and that seemed to be fine. Once I had that, I was able to plug my camera directly into the computer using the USB tether. So you know, you just plug in your micro USB side of the camera, plug the other into the into your your uh, computer, and then you can download the app this way. You can also download it directly onto your camera by connecting to your Wi-Fi hotspot or your uh, home router. Couldn't get mine to work as smoothly for some reason. Maybe my encryption is too high. This uses WPA2, and I had a higher encryption algorithm selected, so maybe that was that. So I'm going to exit remote control. Let's see. And then when you want to use it, you just go to the menu. And again, you would think it'd be under the Wi-Fi settings, right? Not the case. Go one more over and go to the application list. And then from here, you can select. They have other apps on there that you can buy from the, the, the Play Memory Sony store. They have like a time-lapse app, which is pretty probably useful. And then I think Angle Shift and some other ones that they should have included in this package, Sony, for $950. Come on. I guess they get you to go online, register, so they have, you know, another mailing list uh, victim, I mean, customer. So that's probably their thinking of that, and they, but yeah. So whatever other apps you buy, it'll appear in this list here. So that's pretty cool. So once it's up and running, once you get through all that hassle, it's good. And of course, when you sign on for the Sony Play Memories, uh, account, you're going to get an email from the PlayStation email address, apparently, that tells you that your account is, you got to verify your account and all that other fun stuff. But, uh, and then once you get through all that rigmarole, it's pretty worth it. And of course, you have to download the Play Memories mobile app, not to be confused with the Play Memories home software. So here's the mobile app. Yeah, Play Memories mobile app there. And yeah, I don't know why that wasn't... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Sony seems to have a way of confusing things. Play Memories Home, Play Memories Mobile, Remote Control Application, and then of course their memory structure, or their menu structures, you know, something that's could be using, you know, use some tweaking. But yeah, overall, it's pretty pretty awesome, guys. I mean, I'd recommend doing that if you can. Download the app, and you should be up and running. I don't know the range on this thing. It's whatever your Wi-Fi range. I'm going to probably guess line of sight, about 50 feet, 100, on a you know, radio-free environment. All right, guys. Hope you found this useful. And stay tuned for some more Sony RX100 Mark IV videos. I'm doing videos that basically I didn't find online that I would have found useful. So maybe I'll do like a demo on slow-mo and other things like that. All right, catch you guys later.